hello everybody hello this is Nicole Tyler hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going live and like and share all my damn videos hello 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 today is March 16th 2019 so I wanted to ask my viewers and my subscribers uh, if they had any questions for Sean Bradley so that's the reason for this live right here We'll, pro we'll try not to make it long, you all. Um, I'm getting mixed mixed uh, reviews and reactions to Miss Nicole going on Sean Bradley's platform. So I, want, I would like to know what my viewers have to say. You can call in. Got my little paper. You can't see because it's bright in this room. I'm at my daughter's house. 804-528-7766. Um, call in. And let me know what you think about me, Miss Nicole Tyler, going on Sean Bradley's platform. And uh, I don't have my speaker, so I'll just be, hopefully you all can hear if anybody um, call in. But I'm just going to sit here and wait to see if anybody have any uh, questions for me. Um, and for Sean Bradley, I got my food. You all know I love Tropical Cafe. You probably can't hear. I'm, I'm in a very bright room at my daughter's house. And I'm usually in the kitchen or in her in her uh, down in her living room, but I chose to come into a little a room, way on I guess you could say the West Wing or whatever, where I'm just by myself, right? And I got my little drink, a little tropical smoothie drink, so that I can hear if anybody have any questions. I'm very excited about going on to the show. I did speak to him this morning. It was very good rapport. Good mo Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. We had very good rapport on the telephone. You can tell that it's very genuine. And that he, you know, if you've been keeping up with Sean Bradley, you will know that he's going through his own struggles over there being a foster care dad. And um, he talked about it on his live today. He had the children on his live today. And I'm thinking something happened yesterday or day before where one of the kids ran away from home, you all. One of the kids ran away from home. The foster care children ran away from home. The CPS, uh, the social social worker was there. I guess uh, some of the CPS directors, I don't know their official names. They were there. They had a talk with the kid before the kid ran, ran away. Uh, it appears that this kid, Pei Pei, I believe is his, is his name. He wants to be with his mother and father, and both his mother and father are in Baltimore. So, wow, that is just a very, very, very di difficult situation. And uh, this boy was living with Sean Bradley. Sean Bradley is his foster care, was his foster care parent. And uh, this boy ran away. Sean Bradley had to, it was all on the news. He had to go out and post posters uh, of of the of the boy missing missing posters. If anybody had seen the boy, child, woo! So really, you all, I didn't even know if this was gonna go down with the um interview because you know what was going on with Sean Bradley and his and his family. So I really did not even know if it was going down. So anyway, he has confirmed. I've confirmed. Um, you know, I'll be going there. I'll be taking a trip to D.C. and Baltimore tomorrow. Y'all see my sandwich? Mm -mm. Hello. My thumbnail is broke. Yes, I'm going to get my nails done tonight. <laughs> Two of my nails done broke. So, to finish that thought, um, yes, we will be getting together. On uh, Sean Bradley, he has asked his viewers and subscribers to ask me 10 questions. That's a lot of damn questions, y'all. That's a lot of damn questions that your girl Nicole Tyler has to answer. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be as truthful as I can. The thing is, you all, is when I give my truth, no one believes my damn truth. Let, let's keep it real. No one believes me until somebody else says it. And it's and it's it's so freaking annoying, y'all. It's so annoying that people think that I need validation 
and that think of, people think that I need, um, what is the word? Vindication, which I, I don't, I don't need vindication, but I'm glad to get vindication. But if you are all of my real subscribers, all my real viewers who never left in the damn beginning, where y'all at? We, it's, it's time to party, y'all. It is time to party. Y'all, I'm going to be at the damn seafood place tomorrow. I'm going to be drinking me some green beer with at, for St. Patty's Day at the daggone seafood place on at uh, in D.C., Northwest D.C., hot and juicy, y'all. And I will be throwing them back. Bro, I don't drink that, man. I probably drink like two beers, y'all. Don't believe. Don't listen to me. I don't, I'm not a huge drinker. But I'm going to be getting my life eating my seafood, maybe drink two beers, <laughs> maybe, because I have to get on the road. And I'm going to be celebrating y'all because it don't make no sense that when I tell y'all something, I'm telling y'all the best that I can with what I can remember about the damn beefs. And I bring it to y'all. I bring it to y'all. I'm not lying to y'all. I'm not, even though sometimes, let me tell y'all, when I make the stories juicy, you all, those are my pre-recorded videos that I make juicy. When I'm coming to y'all live, I'm not I'm not making anything juicy on my lives. My lives is what you see is what you get. Okay, y'all? See these lives like this? This is real talk. When I say I'm making stuff juicy, that's when I do pre-recorded videos and I try to make the story sound a little better than than what the news gave me gave me from Channel 6 or Page 6 or TMZ. I do my own little I'm my own little TMZ, okay? But when I come to y'all on lives, I'm telling y'all the damn real truth. And all some of y'all do is you're lying, you're lying, you, you need, you, you, no one asked you to defend this person. And, and, they, and you know what, y'all? To defend a person is honorable. If you listen to certain people, they act like because I defended them was a bad thing. <laughs> I, if I want to defend somebody, it's my damn business. And if I defend you and it's coming from the heart because I don't like what's going on, then take it. It's free. Okay? Trust me. Don't y'all think R. Kelly would love somebody to come to his defense right now because they believe his story? I'll wait. I'll wait. Don't you think all those those people, some of those men in jail or in prison who've been in there 30 years, who are innocent, don't you think they want somebody to come to their aid and believe them and say, I didn't do this? Okay, y'all have my phone, y'all. So if anybody call me, I'm, I'm going to answer it. 5804-1804-528-7766. Uh, let me get my glasses. So, y'all, don't let people tell y'all that Nicole came to somebody's aid and that was bad because what's going on in the YouTube streets? I done, I'm on to the third damn subject. I'm supposed to be talking about Sean Bradley. <laughs> but we're talking about the people questions. Is people are saying when I came to their aid, it was bad. When I did put in, when I put in some good work for a person I thought was cool. You shouldn't have did that. That was your fault. <laughs> These other people are saying the same. Five, like five people are saying the same thing. But there's nothing wrong with that. So we're not going to go into that. But I'm going to give y'all my answer. And hopefully with those 10 questions that you all are gonna, going to ask me on Sean Bradley's platform, I'm going to be able to answer it. Now, if you all don't believe me, it's not my damn fault. Okay, now that's what I got to say. <laughs> that's what I got to say, y'all, because I'm getting tired of this damn stuff. I'm answering y'all truthfully. Then y'all got to come back. How many of y'all remember Miss Nicole telling y'all this? That a lot of people, I said this months ago. I said a lot of people misperceive Miss Nicole Tyler. I said, because I, I say things that may be out of, whack or not on the level of their thinking they think i'm coming from a cruel place right then months later they have to say oh miss nicole i'm sorry i i didn't mean that i 
it, they always come back to apologize to me. I said this in laughs before the beef started. I told y'all this happens in my real life and it's happening on YouTube. People are coming to me on my YouTube in my emails and saying they are sorry and that they apologize. I told y'all people would say that because they always misconstrue what Miss Nicole says. They, they want me to be the damn villain and I'm not a villain. <laughs> I can play a good one, but I'm not a villain all the damn time. All right, y'all. Let's see what y'all are saying. Let's see what y'all... Yes, R. Kelly would, would very much would like... Right. Just be yourself. That's all you can do. You can't please everyone. That's right. I can't please everyone. Is your beef with Sean even that deep? What y'all do, y'all have to talk about. Hey, Nicole. Hey, chat. Y'all can always call in as well. Hey, Netta girl. Hey, hey, Netta girl. Um, 804 804-528-7766. I don't have the speaker, but you people probably can still hear you. Um, well, this is the thing with Sean Brad, and I can't say on Sean Bradley's end, I have to let him tell you all. The thing about it with me, y'all, is that, you know, I was just very hurt by what he said. And then his, it was more so of his subscribers and his viewers that really took it out on me. It's like he said one thing and then they just went hell, went crazy. So that's what it is. So that's what we are going to, I mean, I'm sure we're going to talk about a, a, a wide uh, array of things. But um, I'm just letting you all know how I felt and what we need to talk about. And apparently he wants he wants to talk to me too, y'all. So there's nothing wrong with with two people, two grown adults, coming together to find out what did I say or what did he do, or who who I was associated with or who he was associated with that made him and myself have a disagreement. So that's what we will be discussing, along with a lot of other things. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be a lot of other things on the table. So, a lot of other people, excuse me, y'all. I don't like y'all looking at my mouth. I'm sure a lot of people would like to get at Miss Nicole. Make sure Kwani ain't lurking. Well, Kwani gonna be lurking. Y'all know Kwani gonna be lurking. Okay, y'all, let's see if y'all can hear this person. Somebody's calling in. Hello, this is Miss Nicole. Okay, hey, hey, I had you on, I got you on speaker now. Say that again. Hey, Miss Nicole. Hello, how are you? I'm good, I called you last week. We talked about, we talked about the neighborhood. Well, I can't show the number, sorry. Miss Nicole. Yes, I had your number, I'm sorry, I had your number up, I had to take it down. I can hear you, go ahead, I'm yes. sorry. Miss Nicole, when you, when you um, finished meeting up with Sean Bradley, I would really like to meet you, Miss Nicole. I know y'all probably gonna have dinner So she didn't tell me her name yet, y'all. Well, my, but my internet name is Auntie Liv. Auntie Liv. I, I hate when people say that whole thing. Just say Auntie Liv. But um, Sean Bradley knows my name. Auntie Liv or Auntie Love? Liz. Liz. Auntie Liz love, is her love. love. Okay, sorry. Auntie Love is her <laughs> name yeah. on on YouTube, and she has a channel. So you all go and subscribe to her, or listen to her, give her some views. And she said that she really loved me and that she wants to get to know me off camera. Or if she wants us to meet and have a conversation, which I'm all for that. And you all know, I've told y'all in the past that if y'all would like to meet me, let me know. I will come to y'all. I've, I've said this. Pass right by my house before you get to Baltimore. So, 
So, uh, <laughs> well, I'm going to be at the, are you going to come see me tomorrow and, um, hot and juicy? Yeah, N Tyler seven zero three at gmail dot com. Okay, I'm gonna email you, Miss Nicole, and I'm, we can we can hook up. But I've been telling people on my last two videos I'm gonna be at Hot and Juicy in Northwest okay. DC. But Miss Nicole, they got some. <laughs> 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 and I, <laughs> I don't want them to know where I'm gonna be. Okay, okay, okay. It's, no, it's a thing. Look. We, she wanted me on a seat at a secret location. <laughs> okay. And it doesn't and it doesn't have to be on YouTube. We can meet on a. Oh, oh, we're not doing it on YouTube. No, we don't have to meet on YouTube, y'all. <laughs> but this is business for me, so I try. I always. I'm hot and juicy, so. And I will come bearing gifts, my sweet woman. All right, well, okay. I love some gifts. That's what a lady does. Okay, yes. okay. But anyways, I love you, Miss Nicole. I love you. And I love your chat, and I love your chat, and I'm so glad that you turned to the right now. Thank okay. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll discuss that on Sean's channel about the size. Okay, y'all? Okay, Miss Nicole. All right. All right. Thank right. you so much. Thank you. Thank you for taking my call. Okay, you bye -bye, welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, y'all. Oh, and, and young lady, I hope y'all ain't see her number. Cause then, and, and I won't doing it on purpose because I'm not like that. I did see somebody in the chat say, make sure she doesn't record your phone call. I don't do that kind of spy stuff, y'all. I don't do that kind of spy stuff. And it ain't like, let me tell you, the only way I would do stuff like that, record phone calls, is if it had to do with my ex-husband, my mom, my family. Excuse me, my fa I ain't mean to do that. My family. If it don't have to do nothing with, with somebody trying to do something to my family, I'm not recording your damn call. Who are y'all? Chad. I'm not trying to, to record calls and stuff that ain't got to do with my family. <laughs> okay, okay. But Auntie Love, thank you for the phone call. Nicole questions, why did you choose to go to the dark side? Well, you can choose that, that question. Okay. That would be on the, the dark side. All right. Why did I choose to go to the dark side? I don't know which side that is. <laughs> I don't know what side that is, y'all. Clarify. I'm look. I'm gonna write this stuff down. The, why did I go to the dark side? Why did go? I gotta I gotta do it shorthand. Why did go dark side, Miss Nicole? <laughs> Miss Nicole. <laughs> I wrote that question down. Anybody? I wouldn't answer rude based rude based question like that if I were you Willie Watkins said he wouldn't answer that <laughs> you know what Willie you you might have a point <laughs> don't answer that Mr. Cole you gonna get in trouble it is gonna be worse than what I imagined when is your interview with Sean will it be on YouTube or Patreon it's gonna be on both it's gonna be um on Patreon and on YouTube it's not a sad meeting it's not a sad meeting no it's not a sad meeting no mm mm no, you guys, it's not a side meeting. <laughs> Don't entertain loaded questions. All right. Thank you. I got somebody that's the PR person helping Miss Nicole out. Thank you, PR person, Willie. Willie, Willie, have you subscribed to my channel? <laughs> How about that, Willie? That's not a loaded question. Have you subscribed to my channel, Willie? How about that? Hmm. <laughs> Fifty an hour? Well, you you doing it now for free, so why I'ma pay? 
tell you. <laughs> what is your definition of women empowerment? One said, is that for now or that for tomorrow? <laughs> is that for tomorrow? Is that for me to ask Sean? So these questions are supposed to be for Sean, not me. <laughs> They're not supposed to be for me, y'all. <laughs> Hold on, let me <clears throat> eat my food and I can answer. Okay. My definition of women's empowerment is um, being together, supporting one another, um, being able to be there for your sisters, uh, support, mainly, mainly supporting your sisters, your sisters, uh, being there financially, emotionally, uh, any, any kind of way that you can to, uh, make your sister's life better. That's what is, that's what women's empowerment is to me. It's, it's just real simple. It's not a whole big old paragraph. It's just, uh, just supporting one another. So that's what women's empowerment is for me. And y'all, and if anybody who's been with Miss Nicole for a long time, you all should know that I'm always supporting my sisters. I'm, I'm, look, I'm the one who get in trouble for defending women. I'm getting in trouble for defending people. People are coming at me calling me names for defending them. If that's not women's empowerment, I don't know what the hell is. <laughs> So that's the girl. That's who I am. I am a defender, and not just women. I defend any. I defend anybody. If I if I if I listen to both sides, and I see that okay, whoever is whoever wrong first, or whoever said anything to hurt the other person, and then I'm the person who's I'm the mediator. I'm the I'm the scales. I'm gonna provide harmony. I know y'all don't believe that, but that's what my sign. I'm a Libra. So I'm going to try to provide that, that harmony. Now, y'all, it's always calm before the storm, y'all. It's always calm. Now, if anybody's been with Miss Nicole for a long time, you all know I'm just not going to snap at nobody. I'm just not going to be the one who, I know this, this thing getting on my nerve, this, uh, shout, this uh, blind. But I'm not going to be the one, I might not can change it. Where am I? Let me see. No, I can't change my 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 room. Ah, eh, where I'm at. And it's closed at that. Because my daughter don't have a curtain up in this room. I'm always going to give smoke signals before I come out. I'm always going to give smoke signals, you all. I'm not going to be that one that's just going to just start running off with the mouth. Who you think you're talking to? I'm Nicole Tyler. I'm sexy clean. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm sexy clean. I hope I look sexy clean tomorrow, y'all. Damn, overlooked again. Black, okay, blind spot. Say it. What it was it, blind spot? I'm sorry. Do you have troll accounts? No, I don't have troll accounts. Willie Watkins. Blind spot. What was your question? I'm sorry. Let me let me look. Let me see if I can find it. Blind spot. I don't even see it, blind spot. You know I get to run in my mouth. Y'all act like y'all don't know who who I am. I am sexy clean, but I'm also a run a person that run their mouth. Miss Nicole, respectfully, do you ever think you did anything wrong? Oh, okay. Do I think I did anything wrong? I don't think I did anything wrong. I think that I, I just do YouTube videos. I think I provide content. Um, what else? What else? What do you want me to say to that? What do What do you want me to say to that blind spot? Do you want me to say I think I? Did, what do you want me to say? I'm a YouTube content creator. <laughs> what part did I do wrong? You have to, you have to ask, when you ask me, that's a loaded, that's like a, lo that question could be answered so many different ways. If I did wrong to any of you all out there to have that same question, tell me, ask, ask me specific who I did wrong to. What, what did I do wrong to the person? Because we're only doing videos. Okay. We're, this is missing. I'm doing videos. 
Okay, so ask me specifically, what did I do wrong in my video besides beef? Okay, so I want to say that. Blind spot, okay? Blind spot, who do you think you're talking to? I sex and clean. <laughs> Every time I read that, I'm going to laugh. Did you ever think you did anything wrong? Yeah, um, blind spot, what did I do wrong to you? Save some stuff for tomorrow. Yeah, you're right, Willie. Willie, Willie said he's going to charge me 50 an hour, but he's still working. <laughs> mm. Somebody said dealing with that team is wrong. All right. That was not your personality to be caught up. Why do y'all think that, though? If I showed y'all that personality, do you think that I don't have it in me? We all have that inside of us. We all have that. That's that's not a that's not a good a, a good uh, the way to outlook to look at people. Why do you think now this is why do you think people work with people for thirty years and then all of a sudden they crack up and go and do things to a McDonald's? They do things to post office office workers. They just out of the blue do things. It's already there. Minds in their hearts. All right, let me see. Blind spot. I want you to say exactly what you said. If you don't feel like you did, that's the answer of all of. Okay. I don't... You changed when you teamed up with them. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'll accept that. What I think, what I like the 47-year-old R&B girl like myself. Second chance. Seconds to none. Well, I am R&B girl. Yes, I am. So many would have stayed with you, but you seem to think it was best to deal with them. Well, people, people, people are finicky. <laughs> people are finicky, y'all. A lot of them people came back. A lot of those people, y'all, they might have not subscribed or they, they were subscribed and then they left. But they wa my watch time hours was up there, y'all. That's why y'all shouldn't get so bent out of shape when y'all go on other platforms and y'all hear people say, her subscribers left. But every month my paycheck is looking okay. So don't don't let them, to all my real subscribers who love Miss Nicole, it's okay. Miss Nicole check was still, was still looking okay. Was look, looking good. Don't get it twisted. I think you, Nicole, you got caught up in the clicks and views and got beside yourself. Well, if it, if it appears that way, I will agree. Not about the subscribers, it's about the views. Hey, Wiley. It's a, it, yeah, it's about, it's about, let me tell y'all, there are people on YouTube who got about 10 subscribers. And guess what else y'all they got? A million views on one video. Do y'all know that's a good coin? Way better than I've ever made. That's a good coin. And they ain't got no damn subscribers because they're not even real YouTubers. They just came on and they wasn't serious about YouTube. They just caught a lick. They came up, did a funny video that, that went viral on Facebook. It went viral on World Star Hip Hop. It went viral on YouTube. They got a million or more views and they don't have no subscribers. And guess what? They got paid. They got paid because they had... 4,000 watch time hours. They had over, they had exceeded that. <laughs> so, I, so when, so y'all, when I'm talking about me losing subscribers and things, it's, it's not really me coming from the heart talking about it. I'm just talking about what's being stated and what's being talked about. I really have no feelings about my subscriber count going down for real. Like emotionally, I'm not, emo I know where my check come from. So I want y'all to understand the way Miss Nicole talked to y'all. Miss Nicole Sometimes I try to talk to y'all as a, like a business. I try to do a business thing with you all, but sometimes you all want Miss Nicole to talk to you all from an emotional con concept, con in a, emotional context. And I'm, I only can be what I am. I only can look at things the way I look at things. And I look at things a lot of time as business, advertisement, promotion. I look at things like that, to be honest. Now, far as Sean Bradley and I, uh, when he said what he said and then it turned and then a whole storm came, then 
I, I was I felt affected and my feelings were hurt because of what I do in my personal life, which is business. Because I work with these kids. I work with them and they have really, really sad stories, you all. Uh, just like the one that, 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 that Sean Bradley is going through with that little boy. And a lot of many uh, children that he deals with. I deal with that same stuff with, with the children that, that I deal with in my class. So that's the only reason really why I took that kind of to heart. Because it's like, okay, now you didn't came into my personal life and you're saying that I don't do, I did that and I never, I don't do like that with kids. But my, mainly Miss Nicole attacks things on a business level, even with my beefs. And I told y'all that. Hey, okay, God is alive. Cussing Christian is about minute and being grown that's right it's about it's about both of us having a good a, a conversation and then what, what sean bradley and i have in common is with those children is with those children because he's a foster care parent and i am a, a a nurse now that takes care of children with special needs and i only have one client i only have one client and I work in a classroom classroom with a lot of other children who are special needs and some of those children are foster care so so Sean Bradley and I have that in uh in common. And he he has a, he has some questions regarding that, y'all. So you all have to tune in when once it uh once it airs about because he was asking some questions on one of his lives, honey, because he thought that Miss Nicole had ignored his DM. And Miss Nicole did not ignore Sean Bradley's DM. I'm hardly on uh Instagram. Every now and then I go and post something, but I'm really I child I can't I can't be on all those platforms at one time, child. I'm 47 years old, child. Child, I can't do all of that. I do one or two, one, and I barely do the Facebook anymore. I, child, uh, uh. Now I wouldn't. I would love to have somebody do it for me, Nicole Tyler. So are you only meeting with him to get views? No, my friend likes your channel, so. Shout out to Ethan. Shout out to Ethan. So basically, there's no friendship when it comes to YouTube. Just business, right? It's it's business. It's business. Um, you can't have friends when all of us are on this. All of us are on the same platform, or we all, or you can say we all. Let's say we all work uh for a business for I don't know whatever business is out there. You're not going to be really friend friends until it, it you take it off of the out off of out of that business onto real life. That's when your real friendship is going to begin. Okay? There's a lot of people I'm cool with in school that I work with. But I can tell that we are not going to be friends in real life. Do anybody understand that y'all just is oblivious to what Miss Nicole is saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now, that now, when it comes to being YouTube cool, because I may have to clarify that for my, for in my opinion, YouTube cool. YouTube cool is when you give somebody your number and you all call and y'all talk to each other. And it may be mainly the YouTube cool conversation, y'all, from where I stand, it's always about YouTube. Okay, y'all understand the YouTube cool ships that's going on? You're not talking about... How your children doing? How your grandma doing? Oh, I heard your mama was in a hospital. Oh my God! Oh, such and such was down to the the was the, the swap meet, honey. And oh, and I know her aunt. You're not talking like that. You're talking straight up about YouTube on in these YouTube relationships. Now, if y'all are keeping up with the new beef that is, that is brewed and brewing over with the uh, sweet ma, uh, Tracy, all of them. You notice that it's only about YouTube. How many of y'all are with Miss Nicole? Understand, it's, it's about YouTube. And Sweet Ma trying to insert the little baby. So that to get, in my opinion, she should never do that. Oh, snap, we're in agreement with something. <laughs> Read my last comment, Miss Nicole. Oh, y'all know I'm talking and stuff, so. Not friend, but friendly. It's called being professional. Okay, Truth Davis, it's called being professional. I have a question for you, Truth Davis, your YouTube creator. I don't forgot who asked me to ask the question, y'all. Lord. Oh, Willie. Okay, Willie. Boom, boom. Hey, boom, boom. 
and butter beans, Angela, sweet pea, sweet, sweet, what is that, sweet pie? I don't see your question. I don't see it. Why the stated it's not about subscribers, it's about the views. Why well, I guess that is why I don't watch your channel. Oh my lord. Well, wow. I don't know. Okay. I love I love this is Wiley Show says I lose subscribers all the time. You gain subscribers and lose subscribers. It's just business. That is true. You I'm going to see that question now, Willie. It must be way up there somewhere. The more people come on, I lose. I can't read all the questions. So I don't know what you said. It's, it's way up there. You keep saying Sweet Ma is inserting her baby. She didn't insert her baby. They did. Okay. How would they even know about the baby? To, to say anything about the baby. This is YouTube. Think. Think. How would anybody know anything about about it? Uh, one minute you're crying about mess, and the next minute you're riding ass teeth coming at someone sideways. Go and empty that stink colostomy bag and leave me the something alone. That's at Chopper. What in the world? I had a nerd to read that horrible comment. True content creators have genuine connections and make large moves. No one in this sector of YouTube are big YouTubers. Marquise Brownlee is a big YouTuber tuber, and he does not have friends with channels. They said F her baby and they hope he falls off a cliff. That was, that was real bad to say. 200,000 ha ha. Come on, y'all, one day with nice words. Come on, y'all, one day with nice words. Now, I don't subscribe to saying negative things about children. I don't subscribe to that. But we're not gonna we're not gonna sit here and act like we're not we're we're not adults. We're not gonna sit here and act like we're in a country that do crazier things than what's on youtube that's is real life stuff going on out there in the world is horrific and that we can't even wrap our minds around so we're not gonna be sit up there and be shocked that somebody says something about and we're gonna be like oh my god you can get it. we're not gonna do it the best thing i can say is stay on topic don't get don't get uh Hello, this is Nicole. How can I help you? I don't know why I say, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, okay, say that again. I'm sorry. I didn't have you on, have you on speaker. That's okay. Do you got a Pandora bracelet? Do better Pandora's bracelet. Okay, how were you? No, no, no. Do you have a Pandora's bracelet? No. Oh, I was going to buy you a Pandora charm. Well, I, I'll take, I, look, I, I, I accept all good gifts, nice gifts. Yes, I do. If you buy me a bracelet, I would thank you. I would promote it. You know me, I would say this person bought it for me. Where she got it from, y'all go get y'all one too. <laughs> oh, Miss Nicole, I thought you had one. I'll buy you the charm, but if you don't have the charm, I'm good. Well, it is, I don't care. You just said that you would buy me something is nice enough. When people do stuff for me, as y'all can see, like, and my look, it's huge to me when anybody do anything for me, y'all. I really, really thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I just, I just do. And I, I know people want to do be silent givers and stuff, but it means so much to me. Even if if you saying you want to do it, <laughs> it's just a blessing that you. It's commit to me, y'all. It's in the heart. Miss Nicole, though, I want to give you my phone number because it's other things. I think I have your number. <laughs> I think I have it. Oh no, because I I got I got to text you first. Yeah, and I got so much stuff for you, and um, so much stuff we can do, and uh, I'm just so happy that you are happy. Oh my God, you're like uh, I'm gonna get off because people probably dragging me like 
No, people are not calling. But you know what? The only thing, y'all, let me clarify too. The only thing that really hurt me during that whole beef period, y'all, was the Sean Bradley. That's why Sean Bradley and I are having a conversation, y'all. Out of all that beef, and I wasn't really mad. You know, I had, I had to, you know, I had stuff to say about it. But the one that really hurt me was the one that he said about the kids. That's that's the only damn thing I was mad about the kids stuff. Cause I was like, I do for kids. So, but the other beef stuff, I won't mad about. It. I'll come at you again if I feel you did something else to me. I'll, I'll come at you again. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But you let me let me let me cut you off. Your you your pain that you're feeling is warranted. No, no, no. Uh, no, your pain for that person went through is real. If that that happened is real, it's horrible, it's horrible. But what you do is I know you're probably not gonna like what I'm gonna say, but you gotta pray. Because because you're not like that. You don't see me coming out saying those things about kids and stuff when it, things happen. I don't talk like that about that because I it's horrible to, when people go through that. I'm still damaged from the little bit of stuff I went through, and but I'm I'm grown enough to say yes. I I have I have emotional issues or struggles from time to time with that little girl that happened to me, but you. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk to the listeners, the, the people on. You know, I, I'm talking to you and them. I know, Miss And I'm yes. Gonna finish and then I'm going to say what I got to say. It seems like that. I'm defending uh, Susie, and I'm not. So no, 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 that, you're, uh, no, no. We're I'm not defending anybody. Them. You're saying your peace. Don't, don't, never, don't. See, you cannot. Don't let the people get in your head. You no, be no, you. No. Don't let people say you're defending this. But you Nicole, do you. You you state your damn case. Miss Nicole, since I found out about Nature Boy, that's what I try to teach my twelve-year-old every day. You believe what you believe. Don't let no one fucking body get in your head. Even me. What you believe is what you believe. So, but Miss Nicole, what I'm saying is though, y'all don't got the right to go back to that little. Before she became this demon, before she was evil, and go back to that little girl 
Well, well, we, well, we gonna let's you, you all, you, you taking it all over the place. But let's just, but let's just, just, just. No, 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 no. I don't care what nobody say about that. I don't care what nobody say about nobody. I when they say sides, I could care less. That's them. But my advice to you and you, your feelings are warranted because of the pain. But just pray about it. Just pray about it and do like you're doing no, now. Never, Talk to me about it, or just never, you because you have to get it out. Oh no no no! But still, but still, let me tell you, you can still be empathetic. You know, that's see, that's one of my things. You know, sometimes I might not have gone through a lot of things, but I put myself in that person's shoes so I can identify with okay. them, so I can come at them and tell them, and so I can be able to be that person they need as their rock to bring them up. They, they, some everybody needs somebody to listen to them. And understand what they're going through. Understand their feelings. Understand their emotions. Be there to say, someone, listen to me. I might not have gone through a lot of these things, but still, okay. I'll be listen there up. for you to hug, hold, holler, of scream, course. hold my hand. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there for that. For any anybody out there for real. Oh, yeah. This will be a... Because I got a lot of questions, people asking questions. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. I'm talking to you. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's one of the well. Guess what? That's one of the questions for tomorrow. And I and you know what? A lot of people, but a lot of people have the same questions. So one person said, "Why did I go to the dark side?" And then you said, "Why did I come to my to the light?" <laughs> Why? Right? Yeah, but that's the same question. It's just the opposite. But you, but you have to, let me tell you, you have to decompress from that because if you're watching something on YouTube or any, any of the platforms, any, even on TV and it makes you, and it makes you feel some type of way, right. you have a conversation, you know, with me or whoever in your family and you get it out and you bring it to light and then you try to turn it into a positive. Okay, don't you don't you don't let it you don't let it get you out of your out of your character to where you you become what you don't like. You don't want to become a person. If you see a person that's a demon and a mean, and then you turn demon and mean, how is that helping anybody? So you have to try to get it out, get out the get it out, and then you. I know you. Look into your moral compass. No, no, I look, I look. And I say, y'all making fun of a child. Not her. Y'all making fun of the child that she was when she was a child. Okay, I'll agree. I'm going to I'm going to go now cuz so I can talk to the crowd and see a lot of them are saying a lot of things. So get back in that chat, girl. Get back in that chat. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I got an important question too. I'm going to ask the chat. Okay, all right. Get back in and I I love you and I got your number and I got your name. Okay, I will. Now, this, you know what? 
that young lady was very passionate about children and about the abuse that happens to children, right? Now, a question that has been circulating on the internet is, and I saw it also on how to get away with murder. Have it, do anybody know what question I'm alluding to? That happens to, with children. Would you or would you not kill baby Hitler? That is the question. How many of y'all would kill baby Hitler after y'all know what he has done to millions of people? How many, how many of y'all would kill baby Hitler? Do anybody understand the question? That is one of the questions that's circulating on YouTube and, and, and on, um, it's circulating all around in, in, um, different vlogs and stuff. All right, so everybody's saying no. Everybody's saying no. <clears throat> My phone is on 20%, but that's all right. Mm. He grew up around hate. But then there's so many, it's so many different directions with that question, right? Because we don't know what year with baby Hitler. He he was born in what the 1920s or whatever, right? Or when was he born? In the 18 late 1800s. I apologize. Hope you go back and read your chat. Creonce. Okay, Nicole, when are you going to speak to Sean? Oh, I was trying to speak on that Hitler situation. So we have to know which Hitler we talking about. Is it going to be a Hitler of today's time? A uh, Hitler of the 60s. What if he was born in the 60s? I mean, that, that question can go so many different ways. Oh, somebody said the early 1900s he was born. The late 18s. I know it's like the 18s or the or the 1900s. But um, babies are not born evil in no year. Oh, that's a good one. But I'm not saying that they're born evil. That ain't what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... What I'm saying is... What if Hitler, that Hitler was born, you know, would that, would, that, would that make a difference in what year he was born? I don't know. That's what's coming, coming to my mind. I don't know, y'all. All right, let me see what, uh, it's me, Faith, stop assuming. I wouldn't kill him because I am not God. Okay, Nicole, when are you going to speak to Sean? I'm going to speak to Sean tomorrow. I'm, we're meeting up tomorrow. He burned people and children alive. How can anyone say no? Damn. <laughs> hey, Melissa. Melissa's here saying, damn. Hell no. We go. Babies are not born with hate. They are taught hate. I am not into killing babies. All right. We got everybody saying we're going to let Hitler live. He chose his He cho chose his fate. That's true, Dave. Are you a man or a woman? People who are known social fights or paths, okay, should not be among the public. But do y'all think that's a, a good question? Because people have been asking that question. Would y'all kill baby Hitler? I was like, well, damn. Because I'm not into killing babies either. <laughs> so I was like, whoa. Can you post your phone number? Um, Melissa, post the number. It's 804-528-7766. Make sure I'm saying it correctly. I wouldn't kill any baby, period. Why he does not like TSEC? Okay, is that a question for Sean? Why he don't like TSEC? Are y'all serious? For Sean Bradley, have y'all been keeping up with Sean Bradley? But y'all want to ask him to get get his answer, get a, a, a on on the record answer with him. Uh, thank you, Melissa five two eight seven seven six six. All right, y'all. Let's see if I can answer this phone, and hopefully this phone won't fall because I got my charger in. To... Nicole Tyler. Oh, speak your piece. <laughs> hey. I'm I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fine. This is Chopper. I want to address 
Yeah, chopper, yeah, I see y'all, Chopper. I'm not ignoring the chat. I'm trying to keep up with. Hold on, let me say one thing. I wish I oh. wish, and I'm, I'm not talking in to disrespect your chat, but I wish you dummies would listen to every word I say and don't turn my words around because what I said to Net and what I said to Rita, I said when you be. You have to continue to beef, and when you stop, when you stop beefing, people are not going to watch you. That's what I said. I never said anything about his health status. I never said anything about him dying. He came for me. Boom, boom, boom was right. He came for me. I never said anything about his health. And I don't forgive him for saying what he said about me. I don't. And this goes for anybody that says dumb stuff about what I have. I don't forgive you. I don't. And that's my right, my prerogative. That's his right now. You. That's his right. I agree with you. That's your right. If you're not ready, you're not ready. That's your right. I agree I with that. I don't have to forgive you. He I, don't I, have to. He don't have to, y'all. I do not have to like you. That's I right. I don't care who I associate with. I do not have to like you. I don't care, and that and that I can't speak on BS or whatever. But as as BS is friend, I am not gonna let you call me and talk against her and call her all of this shit when I knew for a fact that Five Days and Sean came after her. They came after her just like they came after me, just like they came after Nicole. So don't come for me. And all of them videos that she did on Nicole, man, that's crazy. That's correct. Y'all, y'all see what y'all want to see and know what y'all want to know. Now, I agree that's with that one. Now, that's true, Chopper. They, you, you agree with what you want to agree with and you want, you know what you want to know. That's right. Now, that's very true concerning me now. I only can speak for me. And if you want to know if I'm a man or woman, what are you? That's what I am. Whatever you are, that's what I am. Well, it's going down in the chat with Chopper. I see y'all got some go some stuff going Christian, on. I got a, I got a message if you want to bring it bring it baby bring it I know you're not though and you're never going to show your face because you're oogly I know you are <laughs> that's all I got to say alright Chopper people was trying to call in y'all call back and alright thank you Chopper woo alright this is Nicole Tyler speak your piece alright can you hear me I can hear you, but guess what, everybody? I don't have my speaker. I'm not at home. I'm at my daughter's house, and I'm, I don't have my speaker, so I'm so sorry if you all can't hear, but I'm just, this is all I got. I'm at my daughter's today. Okay, I have a question. This is Truth Davis. I sent you an email. I don't care who here. I'm not really interested at all. I'm, I'm going to talk to you about that battered woman shelter that you are, like, about. That's what I want to talk to Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm. We're, 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 we were talking about on March, March 8th, we were talking about raising money to buy goods to donate to a battered women's shelter. That's what we were doing. Oh, okay. Because I thought, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Truth Davis. Yes, I'm a supporter of Sean Bradley. I'm not getting into that. I don't want to hear nothing about that. Other people that want to do something, I'm not into that. I'm glad you and Sean are doing y'all thing. But you, I think I think I heard you was a nurse, right? Yes. Right? Okay. I am a nurse, too. I'm actually uh, going to be a psychiatric nurse practitioner. Yeah I, yeah, I saw that in your message. Yes. I am. This is who I am. I really, I'm really about motivation, and then I'm not, a, I'm real of motivation. And you, just for you and Sean doing what y'all do, did, I like that. Everybody's Thank you. And doing and moving, and everybody's moving forward. I'm not into that trying. It's moving forward. Sean seems like he's a great guy. You seem like you said to yourself, hey, I'm moving on. And that's what I want to see about that. That's the reason why I emailed you. I am, when it comes to stuff like that, like disparities in our community, that's what I'm about. And that's what I'm looking into. Well, thank that's you. My research. That's what my, my research study is on childhood traumas and how they affect you later on in life. Yeah. That's my, I'm a and, I'm a case I, study. <laughs> well, I am too, I grew up and everybody everybody wasn't sexually abused, but we had 
stuff how I was bullied as a kid. You know, yeah, other I got and bruises, then, I got marks, I got, I, y'all see my eye? Uh -huh. Y'all don't and really see it, but I got a, I got a permanent mark under my eye. Somebody punch me in the damn eye. You, <laughs> there's something can affect you when you're 12, but you will carry on until you're 90. That's you right. And sometimes you stop growing at that point. That's the reason why I kept trying to get your attention because I understand everybody got hurt feelings, everybody mad and everything and all that. But right now, we're all moving forward. And that's why I want to talk to you about your mentoring or whatever you're trying to do. That's my, that's my part is supporting you. Well, all thank right? you so much. And I was going to get back. You got to give me some time. <laughs> okay, because I know, like I said, you're LPN and I came out of high school with LPN. And, and I, I and didn't I give you my phone number? Did I give you my phone number? No. I'm okay. Just, I don't, hold on. If not, if not, because I have a couple of other people reaching reaching out to me, so I may have given that person my phone number. So that's okay. Since you brought it up, it's nasty in the front of my my frontal lobe. I'll give you my phone number because it's it's the a. That's probably because it's a it's a delay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, okay, cool. I'm I'm about that life. I'm about I'm about people doing positive things from negative situations. That's, That's right. Saying. And I don't mind being a part of any of that. And I've told you all, y'all y'all can call me, hit me up on my email, and we'll discuss well, me I'm coming. The email, but I know you get a lot of rhetoric and crazy. Oh yeah, I do. I, And let me let me say this one thing. When you hear people telling y'all out there in the YouTube world, oh, you can't you don't stand alone. Oh, you need people to back you up. That's life. How 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 would the how would the you how would the world be if you all know that we need trees to provide oxygen that helps to aid us and provide oxygen and we only had one damn tree. So don't don't let people hold on. I'm talking to the chat. Don't let people hold on, ma'am. Hold on, ma'am. Don't let people tell y'all, oh, you can't stand alone. You need to be one. No, we work together as a group and as a team to get things done that is needed by the Heavenly Father. Okay, y'all? He put it like-minded people, not like-minded person. It's like-minded people to make a change. Don't let people tell you. People been telling y'all about Nicole Child. Oh, she's she needs somebody to stand behind her. No. We we have to have a group. We have to have people to do things to make a difference. Okay, sorry, ma'am. You gotta. No, no, do your thing because this is your show. I'm just going to see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just letting people because I gotta. Okay, ma'am. Okay, I got some other calls coming in. Truth, Truth Davis. Yes, I'm Truth Davis. I ain't, I ain't into uh, only people. I'm gonna just say this. I hear you. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm not into all that extra stuff. Uh, like I said, I am I am a supporter of Sean Bradley or SD. I am, and um, but now the two of y'all are moving forward. Now when you start talking about helping the less fortunate, now you got my attention. Okay. And All now, right. Thank so, you. So email me back when you get time, so we can have a real discussion about. Empowering, motivating, and mentoring our people. All right, thank you. Let me answer the call. Bye. Bye, bye, baby. Hello, this is Nicole Tyler. Speak your piece. Hey, Nicole. How you doing? Hold on, say your name again. This is Wiley. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, Wiley. Okay. How are you? I LPNs. I work with LPNs. I work with RNs. LPNs get paid good money, okay? Yeah. Uh, I've been LPN like for years. Six dollars an hour. I know some LPNs make over thirty bucks an hour. So people do your research. I LPNs. made forty, forty-five before. Madison. Oh, <laughs> how much you made? I made not not now. 
But when I was really into my into it, I made 40, 45 before. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So it all depends on... I've done traveling, nursing. I've done all kinds of nursing, you all. I've done yeah. all kinds of nursing. And even some CNAs make about $16, $17 an hour. It all depends upon where you go, uh, what market you're in. So you can make money, okay? So I just want to first say that. I also want to say that you and Sean Bradley, I think it's great that have a conversation with Sean because he did say some things that hurt your feelings. Like I said in my live, he had the first resolve what he said about you because it did hurt you. You know, you took what was said about you and you made it into a t-shirt line, you know, to get coin off of it. And that's a good thing because that's good business. So when people come in at you, let them come. But if you want to resolve those issues, resolve those issues. And when people bringing up TSCC and VS and all of that, we shouldn't bring them up because at the same time, this is between you and Sean. You didn't say, I want to resolve a relationship with VS. You understand what I'm saying? This is not a VS meeting. You want to resolve your issues with Sean. And the people bringing up TSCC and bringing up VS just doesn't make any sense to well, bring you, up them. Well, you know what? I let people bring up what they want to bring up and what they want to talk about. And the truth is, because uh, we are all YouTube content creators, and these people actually like us. They look up to us. We bring smiles to their homes. Mm -hmm. Um, we make a change in their lives for real. So yes. when they have these questions from them watching us, I let them ask them. I don't say, you know, I let them really ask the question because they want to know. And they're watching your channel, my channel, and all the other YouTube, and, and they're not getting the answers. So sometimes you know they feel like... Maybe you should address that and, and just be transparent and to see where's your, your current relationship with TSEC. Why did you join TSEC? Um, what was the fallout? But that's like, not this com life. That's I, not this live. <laughs> I know that. I, you know what I'm talking about? No, 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 I'm not but talking about I'm, I'm gonna. But I will I'm be addressing talking. those questions because they are they are out there. I, I and let, what you said, Nicole. Because let me tell you, yeah, that's I'm why I'm asking. Answer. Well, the question that I really, I really, you all are supposed to be asking me questions for Sean Bradley, but I know that. Everybody has the questions for Miss Nicole Tyler. Um, regarding that situation, you all, we'll do a separate live on that okay. because that qu those questions are burning in people's minds. They just want they want to know. And like I said before, I did and am still interested in a peace summit. Uh, when that thing went down with Tasha K, I really was like, oh my God. Because I was really hoping for us to get together in one room, me looking at a person instead of a screen. You see we what I'm can't saying? Still do that. You understand? Well, we maybe it will that. happen because, to me, in my opinion, it's not going to get resolved from me talking about it on this live, me talking to the phone. And, you know, just like with Sean Bradley and I, we actually have a chance to hold each other's hand. Look each other into the eyes. I get the I get a chance to watch his body language. He gets a chance to watch me personal with his own eyes. He gets to touch me. He gets to feel where I'm coming from, and I get to feel where he's coming from, so that we can resolve it in the way that we both can understand it and heal. And if we're doing all this talking about it, on you said this on your video. All they're gonna do is make more videos about what how they feel. And I'm making more videos how I feel, and then nothing is gonna get resolved. Even if you meet in person, people are going to still make videos. You know, as long as you're at peace, as long as you're good, as long as you're cool, that's a good thing. Because when I saw you was off of YouTube for a while, I was hurt because I'm like, I don't like to see people get run off of YouTube. I don't like to see people get something, get too hot when you run off of YouTube. So I'm good. I'm glad that you're Well, let me, I'm going to tell you this. This is going to be a little, a little spoiler, but your okay. name, your name will be coming up. On the Sean Bradley's live, I just wanted so don't be know, don't be know, surprised. You know what? No, no, no. It's fine for my name to be brought up because, like I told my audience, well, I know it's I business. Out, I reached out to Sean and say, "Hey, let's have a conversation and and let's talk and let's let's work out our differences." And I get blamed for a lot of things, and I tell people, "Listen, if you don't hear things out of my mouth, I don't stand by it." But at the same time. I can't tell someone how to live their life. You understand what I'm saying? I think people are getting it twisted. They want me to dictate to BS or dictate to this person. I'm not going to do that because that's not my place to do. Why would I tell someone what direction to go? So that's just something that she has to do. You know what I'm saying? Because she can speak for herself. And I'm not going to be a mouthpiece for nobody. You know what I'm saying? I would sit here and encourage 
and do what I have to do, but I'm not going to sit here and talk for you, Nicole. You can speak for yourself. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't talk for people, no. <laughs> and I don't care if anybody do a live about me. That's what they're going to do. I came out, I cleared it up with ZT. We cleared that rumor up. I said it was a lie. I moved on. And we, that's how you do it. It's all business. And like you said, you're gaining in viewers. People are watching your show. So I'm just want to encourage you. I do one piece on YouTube. I, I do love the fact that you are going to meet with Sean. Y'all going to have this meeting. Whatever it is, you need to ask him, first of all, why did you call me Gator Crop? Why did you say this about me? Um, why did you? Hold on, me? you got too many questions. I ain't, I ain't gonna say all these questions from one person. What is the main okay. question you want to ask? You want, uh, you want me to ask Sean Bradley? Is that why you call me Gator Croc? What, you got too many questions. Okay, why <laughs> did you call me Gator Croc? What okay. did I do for you to label me Gator Croc? What did I do? Okay, I'm gonna and, write that down. All right. And, and, yeah, that's the main one because that's the one that really kind of hurt me when you were hurt by that because I didn't like that. I just didn't like that because I wanted to know what was the reason. I didn't even know it was a, a original Gator crop. You know what I'm saying? I Somebody didn't either. I didn't know that until VS interviewed her. So I'm like, wow, I'm just thinking that this was all Nicole. And I'm like, Nicole? No, it's like somebody else. So I'm like. Hello? Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, you going in and out or something? I'm I'm sorry, but I'm just in a terminal <laughs> doing some stuff. But thank you so much, Nicole, for checking my. Okay, mind. you're welcome. Okay, y'all, that was that was Wally, you guys. That was Wally, and his question was for me to ask Sean Bradley, why did you call me Gator Crop? And you know what? That wasn't even one of my questions. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my daughter is in here. Is everything okay? Oh, okay. My daughter's offering me I some like salmon, but I got I got these two sandwiches right here. Wally know he's messy. Y'all say everybody is messy. <laughs> y'all say everybody is messy, but guess what? Y'all are all here for it. Y'all, y'all out there, y'all out there want us to YouTube content creators to keep it real, but then y'all don't want to keep it real with y'all selves. If y'all like the content, y'all like the messiness, say hey, say yes, I do. I'm here for it. The, the hell. Truth, what's going on, Truth Davis? What you say the hell for? I appreciate you, Wallace. So you didn't think the lie you told on ZT hurt him? Yes. Now, Creonce Knowles. Child, I missed that. This thing is good. Is it, is, I hope it's going all right. Creonce Knowles. I did not know that he admitted to that tape being a lie. What he said about ZT was a lie. So that's something that I'm going to have to talk about on one of maybe a pre-recorded video or something because, you know, I trusted Wally. I thought Wally was telling the damn truth. You all know I did. So, and I did not believe ZT because ZT always was coming for Miss Nicole. He, ZT did a lot of videos talking about me, y'all, like a lot. He talked about my daughter. He talked about my daughter's fiance. He, he came for everything about me. He done threw everything at Miss Nicole, ZT. So, I was not believing no damn ZT. I was believing Wiley. And Wiley was telling the film. So, a lot of people say that's news to them. But y'all know who broke that T. That T was broken by Seven Stars. Seven Stars put that out, y'all. Seven Stars put that out. So, I guess Wally had to make a decision. Am I going to come clean or what? Am I going to just keep letting that lie linger out there or what? But I was on Wally's side believing him. I believe Wally. I didn't believe ZT. Wally need his phone privileges revoked. I believe ZT and not Wally. Somebody said they believe ZT the whole time. Wally, what are you talking about? You brought that up. Yeah, she called him out. Yeah, Creonce, she called him out. Boy, she said that. Mm-hmm. Yes, she did. Stop being messy, Wiley. Somebody said, stop being messy. Miss Pumpkin said, stop being messy, Wiley. A lot of them told a lie. <clears throat> but y'all know what? A lot of them told a lie, but y'all think thought I was lying there. That's the part I got a problem with. <laughs> I, I'm the one ain't lying. I might forget some things, or I might get things mixed up. But me to just come out and intentionally tell y'all a damn lie ain't gonna happen. 
He dropped to his dirty knees and performed no Wiley. <laughs> Wiley is clearly a liar and it won't stop. Wiley is a messy fruit loop. Woo, woo, y'all in these comments. ZT talk stuff to everybody. He has no filter. Somebody said, and VS lied too. Well, yes, the lies is coming forward. All right, Lydia. Those were ZT's words. Guess he was joking. Oh, those were ZT words, Willie. Woo. -hoo. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't bring. I was not prepared. I, I stopped over here to visit my daughter. It's my daughter's birthday was Friday, y'all. And I've been talking to my daughter all day. My mom was back in the hospital. She just got out of the hospital today. My mom did. Just got out of the hospital. <clears throat> just, I'm, I've just been really busy. <laughs> so, um, of course, I didn't pack up everything. You know, I came to visit and my daughter was tired. My daughter has her own business and she works a 9 to 5 or a 10 to 5. A 10, not, or, or 10 hours a day, 9 hours a day. And she has her own business and she's a mother. She owns her own home. So, a lot of times, y'all, I come over and she'll say, Mama, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I say, okay, you know where I'm at. I'm on live. <laughs> mm, it, uh, that's a setup for them to come together and do content. He even showed someone a, a film of it. What? Y'all think that's not real? It's me, Faith? Wally lied and said he sent VS a video and said it was... He and ZT a lie. A lot on her plate. Yeah, my daughter has a lot on, but my daughter is strong. That's why I love my daughter. I love my daughter. She is so strong. She don't run from stuff. Opinions are given every day by you YouTubers. If that's the case, hold on. Lady Nika really should sue also. All right. That was C-C-O-C-D- DC, something like that. Ask Sean, why do he have me blocked? Why are you and Jay Wilson the only one let people say what they have to say on y'all channel without blocking, even if y'all don't agree with it? I don't know, because I, I mean, I love everybody, even if the, the only co comments I really don't like y'all are the ones where they just being really, really disrespectful and outrageous on, pers on purpose. Like, really, you don't need to come on a somebody's channel to do that. Just, just go look yourself in the mirror and punch yourself in the damn face. See, you won't be hurting anybody. <laughs> You'll just be hurting yourself. You know, you don't need to come and say negative things to people. Just look yourself in the mirror, punch yourself in the face. Don't come on these our platforms and do that. So, yeah, um, yeah, I would rather y'all get it out. Get it out. VS did not lie. He showed her a video and said that was ZT. He admitted that also. Okay. Do you think Wally is empowered by telling the truth that there wasn't ever a video that he's getting empowered? Well, you know what? This is how I feel. I feel like when you put out a, a lie, it burns in your soul when it's not the truth. Of course, it's a lie. I believe it messes with your mind. You can't sleep at night. You know, you're just walking around with this cloud over you because you told a damn lie and you got all these people believing it. So I think that it's just best to, to tell the truth. So maybe that's what was burning in Wally's heart that he told this lie on ZT. And, you know, just like I told you all, ZT came after me and said all kind of crazy stuff about me. I was surely won't gonna believe ZT that he was not um that he was not lying. And plus, I saw when ZT got his shirt from Wally, when he wore that manic DT shirt, he was real happy with Wally. ZT was. He was so happy with Wally, he was all smitten with Wally. So I I people get behind closed doors in real life, y'all. You don't know what the hell they doing. So I was like, I could see it. I could see if they did anything. So that's why I believed it. But it was a lie. <laughs> I'm glad finally to, he told the truth though. But that's a bad lie. That's a bad lie too, Wiley. 
Man, that's a terrible lie. Mama June smoking crack. Because Jay Wilson said that's a coin. That's why he don't block. Well, that's true. He will have all the control as usual. And will use it to his advantage. Wiley and VS are joined at the hip. Both are liars. Okay, Inez Jonathan. Then VS said she saw the sex tape. Hey, Ronnie Q. Ronnie Q. Your name is ringing in the YouTube streets. Your name is ringing, girl. It was a lie. We moving forward with <laughs> Wiley said he can't take no more. He said it's a lie. He moving forward. <laughs> Wiley said he can't take it. <laughs> oh my God. What do you think about Tracy talking about sweet my son? Now I'm not down with that, y'all, but I'm not surprised. Why is my name ringing? Ronnie Q. Ronnie Q, your name is ringing. You all leaving comments everywhere, girl. I'm that's not a negative. That's just like saying you pop it, girl. You popping. <laughs> you was popping in the streets. Jay Wilson blocked me too. Oh man. Jay Wilson, please unblock these people. And if I blocked anybody, y'all send let me know so I can unblock you. Nicole said the same thing to get coins as well, right, Miss Nicole, to about Tasha K. Yeah, I said the same, but when I when I when I said about Tasha K, it was the truth on my end as far as what I was watching. So I did basically what I said about Tasha K was commentary. I did not know Tasha K at that time. So what when it comes to me and Tasha K, I was watching what was going on, and then I would give my commentary on what I seen. So I was not actually involved with Tasha K. Like I'm involved with all the other YouTube content creators. So that's the difference between me and Tasha K. I did not know Tasha K. I was giving her, I was like, damn, did y'all see what happened to Tasha K today? Wow. <laughs> that was me back then. So yeah, so that's the difference. Uh, the Wallace Show, you crazy as a June bug. That's what I thought, Miss Knows. So, do you understand that CDDC, CDDC, whatever your name is? Do you understand the difference between me giving a commentary on Justice Smollett and Tasha K versus me giving a commentary on Wally? Because Wally is in my chat and I've been on his show and we've con we've um had dialogue on emails and stuff, even though it was business. See, that's the difference. I've never had dialogue or, or converse with Tasha K or nothing. The truth will set you free. <laughs> so you feel free now, Wiley? Do you feel free, Wiley, since you got it out? Because that was a bad lie. Ronnie Q, you know damn well why your name is ringing in the streets. You ran to Lipstick Alley and told Sean Business. Woo! -hoo! That what Juicy Fruit said. Woo, Lord. Well, guess what, y'all? I have never been on Lipstick Alley. I hear that it's popping, but I ain't never been over there. I don't block anyone unless they insult you or it seems... That's right, Melissa don't block anyone unless they insult me. Do you see how easily a lie can, can believe ver, VS the truth or versus the truth? Yeah, that's true, Truth Davis. That's true. Nicole, you don't agree with Wiley. You don't agree with Wiley. Nicole, you don't agree with Wiley. I agree that he, he should have told the truth. Yeah, I agree with that. He tell the truth. Yes, I am a free, growing, and living my best life. That's what Wiley said. Ronnie Q, what did you say on Lipstick Alley? Ooh, Gigi said she's trying to get the tea. <laughs> what did you say on Lipstick Alley, Ronnie Q? Now, Ronnie Q, I don't know nothing about Lipstick Alley and you. I just know if when I go on certain chats, you are right there. So I be just, I be in the sky watching. I be lurking. Remember, I always say, hi, lurkers. I'm, I'm one of the lurkers. I be lurking. Are you and Sean going Dutch tomorrow? I don't think so. How could I tell Sean's business if Sean didn't tell his own business first? Out of here. DF out of here. Ronnie Q said DF out of here. I ain't tell his business. He told his own damn business. Okay. How can you be living your best life and begging? Oh, Lord. Inez Jonathan. 
Ooh, y'all is doing it big up in the day. Gonna check, child. Look, Tracy Casket Shop behind. Need to keep my name out of her. Beaver, okay, the LaRue. LaRue said that. I don't know what's going on with you and LaRue, Tracy, but LaRue is pissed off with you. Oh, so Sean's treating you to lunch. No, I'm treating myself to lunch, me and my daughter. Tracy is pure evil. All right, it's me, Faith. Well, you know what? You have to, you and Tracy, y'all can, can find peace. Y'all can find peace. See, exactly only what's being shown or told. Yeah, C-D-O-C. Yeah, exactly what's being shown. Yeah. Auntie, go celebrate your daughter's born day. Yes, I will. My daughter's tired. <laughs> so we're going to party tomorrow, y'all. She resting today, y'all. She resting today. Slow chat down, Nicole. I don't know how to do all that on this phone. Y'all know I don't. Pay attention to the name. Tracy has nothing going on. Okay, Willie. Y'all uh, y'all don't like Tracy. Tracy, did y'all see Tracy's video she did on Sweet Mom where she had the raccoon eyes? Y'all didn't like that? Y'all ain't like that video Tracy just did? Tracy, Tracy stepped her pee up. She showed y'all she could be an actress. When I woke up this morning... Tracy video was the first thing on the phone. I said, well, dang. I pressed play, and Tracy was doing her acting, her debut, acting debut. I said, well, dang, you better do it. Tracy need to even mock someone. She did whatever mock anyone's look. Okay, don't need. Tracy, they said, do not mock nobody's looks, Tracy. It was very funny. See, somebody agree with Miss Nicole. It was funny. Are you and Sean meeting halfway? No, I'm going to the lo the secret location. Y'all mad because she mind her business. And somebody said it, she minds her dang on business. I have given money to Miss Nicole as well. Tracy, lonely, behind. Okay. Miss LaRue is pissed off. Tracy, excuse me, Tracy. Y'all know I'm drinking. I'm drinking this right here. <laughs> Tracy and La Miss LaRue, y'all got to come to a truce. Sean tells everyone his business. He didn't tell that. Okay. Well, Ronnie Q, I don't know what you told Lipstick Alley. But they are saying you is not being truthful, girl. I don't know. I don't watch Luke. I don't watch Lipstick Alley or listen to it or read it or whatever it is. I don't know. Lord. Boom. The boom, boom, boom. No, it's it's mad rude to insult a disabled child. There's nothing funny in the that, that. I agree with that. The boom, boom, boom. I agree with you. Now, I do agree with that, but I'm not surprised at that. That's what I'm saying. I should have said that the first time, right? Y'all know I got to get into it. I just want to go on record to say Deb is fine as hell. Okay, I don't know Deb. De oh, Deb is from Sweet Ma's friend. Oh, Deb is fine. All right, you got a fan over here that loves Deb. All right. Who said Ronnie Q is not being truthful? It's in the chat. It's hard to keep up with a lie. That's true. Will I go to Vegas? I don't think I'm going to Vegas. I don't know if I'm going to Vegas. I don't even know when the trip is. Now, Mr. Cole, you were passing receipts whether true or not. No one's hands are clean. Was I passing receipts? Uh, is this pertaining to Tasha K or what? I'm not surprised either. Nicole, there is nothing new under the sun. That's right. See, I'm not surprised that people talk about people, kids and stuff because it's just... I can't look at Wiley's eyes. Somebody said they can't look at your eyes, Wiley. I will say that. You saying, was I passing receipts? I don't know if I passed any receipts. I may have. I may have not. I can't remember. It was, we did videos every day or every other day. I, I can't tell you. I can't remember. Um, Jacked up. I guess I'm dead because it's a lot of skeletons in this chat, including you. Orchio De Niro, jacked up. Oh, that's Chopper talking. Oh, Chopper. Y'all done made Chopper pissed off. Y'all, why y'all do? I don't know. Chopper, you gonna have to go on your channel and you gonna have to address all of this stuff. You got a lot to address. Oh, you said Catrice called Deb ugly. Oh, okay. So you wanted to say no, Deb is beautiful. Okay, Willie. Willie says she's beautiful. 
Deb's makeup is on point. Okay, he's giving Deb all these shots out. This is the boom, boom, boom. Okay, you said it regarding bitter and sweet block. You said it regarding that. I may have. I don't know. I can't remember. I got to go back and watch these videos, child. I'll be on. I have to go back and watch them. God bless me with eyes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this was, that was Wiley. <laughs> Have a beautiful spirit, Miss Nicole. Well, thank you, TT Libra. Thank you. Oh my God. Um, please do. You never forget the truth. Yeah, I can't remember. Um, C C D O C. What receipts I passed? I don't know because a lot of receipts was coming to me, and what I did with the is this is this going back to the Tasha K uh situation? A lot of receipts were coming to me, and what I did with the receipts was I just made videos, like I've been stating. So that's what I did. That's what we all did. But what is the point that you're trying to make so I can understand? Because I'm not going to have a dialogue with the with you regarding receipts, and there's no end. Where, what is the point? <laughs> Let me know what the point is, and then we can move on to something else. <laughs> All right, that way you can move on. I can't look at his half dead. Oh, Lord, I should have called this roasting gags, reads and drags. That's what I should have called this. I should have called it roasting gags, reads and drags because y'all are reading in the comments. It's going down in the chat. Nicole, sexy clean is my jam. Thank you, thank you, Creonce, because that song is the bomb. I don't like the joy, Lord, y'all. Oh, Lord. Somebody else said they don't like Tracy. Lordy. Oh, you sing it all the time. That's right, Creonce. You better sing Sexy Clean. You better sing all them songs of good songs. Let me see. Willie. Okay, Wally just here to deflect from the chat, but he tells people not to come to his live redirecting the flow. Ooh, I know. I never say you tell people, ooh, today is Saturday and they ain't playing with you, Wiley. Wiley, whoa, Creonce second that emotion. Creonce said, boom, boom, yes, you do, Wiley. So now you over here trying to deflect over here. You're trying to deflect from your truth that you just put out that you was telling a lie about ZT. That... And this man had to go and go to court. Did he? Did ZT even take this to court? Now that's the second part that I would like to know. Homosexual Jay Wilson called you a prostitute in one of his lives. <laughs> Who he called a prostitute? That was it me. I like Wally, but he needs to chill on the chat rules. Wally, they don't like the chat rules. They don't like the chat rules, Wally. I think ever since ZT went at it with uh, Nurse Nicole. You've been having some issues in your chat that a lot of people don't like. So you may have to go back on your platform and you're going to have to get some new rules or figure it out. Or if they don't like you or they don't like your chat, they can just, you know, watch from the sky box. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. Tracy is funny. Somebody said Tracy is funny. They like Tracy. Y'all come to stop clogging the courts with the petty. Somebody said stop taking this stuff to the courthouse and it's petty. Wally needs to hersh. Say it again. Shell Whitfield is here. She done made an appearance. Shell Whitfield also said that she's going to tell her son that his dad is not alive. Okay, wow. Well, you know what, y'all in the chat? Y'all may need to clean up y'all own act before y'all keep coming at me and some of the other YouTube creators. Let's let's talk about that chat. Y'all, y'all in the chat. Y'all be doing too much in the chat. Maybe y'all need to look at y'all own actions and what y'all are typing. Because y'all actions have been the source of a lot of problems going on on YouTube. So y'all may need to watch what y'all type into the YouTube content creators. Have y'all thought about that? Let's get on that. Y'all want to talk about me and Tracy and Jay Wilson and Wiley? Wally, why we can't talk in your chat unless we donate a dollar? Oh, Lord. Wally, what in the world did you do? You People is pissed off at you. 
It was disgusting. Somebody said they saw something and it was disgusting. I've never seen a woman so obsessed with a man after 90 days of dating. Well, what the hell did y'all, what was this at? Lord, somebody called Wally, why lie? Oh my God. Why do you have to lie on your meat, Craig? Oh, goodness. Wally, it looks like you have a lot of questions to answer. Wally is a user. Somebody said he is over here because VS kicked his butt to the curb. What? Is that true? Oh, my God. Wally needs to hurt. Wally, did VS kick you to the curb, Wally? Somebody said he's here to stay relevant, so he's on my platform. All right, y'all. Y'all get Mr. Nic <laughs> so Miss Nicole platform is pumping. All right. Tracy needs to leave there alone. People are still pissed off over the Sweet Ma situation. VS was in the chat earlier today. Somebody said that's a lie. She was in his chat. They are still joined at the hip. Okay. Told you, Wiley Side Eye. <laughs> It is going down in the chat. My chat open to all people unless you disrespect me or my team. Y'all hear Wally? Wally said his chat is open to all people. So he don't know why y'all coming up with this. If Wally wants to make it like he said, he needs to double down and focus. Our mom's channel is growing while he's stumbling to gain traction. Oh, woo. that's what the boom, boom, boom said to you, Wally. Wiley is performing damage control. All right. Wiley's show is not true. You were blocking people for saying other YouTubers' names. Wiley, is that true? Wiley is too all over the place. I don't, I don't get mad when y'all say other uh, people's names now. Stop lying, Wiley. We got to pay for your new apartment for us to be acknowledged. Damn, well, this is the way the people, this is the, this is the people. This is the way the, the people feel. Wiley, this is the way the people feel. He jumped on women empowerment. That didn't work. Now he over here. Oh my goodness. Now Nicole, don't let, don't let I use you. <laughs> Nobody can use me, y'all. Y'all will find out that tomorrow. <laughs> Nobody uses Miss Nicole. Y'all roasted today. Melissa. We did, I, I'm going to have to change Sean Bradley. Yes, I'm going on Sean Bradley's show tomorrow night, tomorrow. And we're going to be, we're going to have the conversation. But I need to change the name to Roasting Gags and Reading Drags. Because y'all is roasting and gagging and reading and dragging on helping here. Okay? Wow. If I knew this, I would have bought my speaker and, and everything. <laughs> Had it together. I need people to stop taking videos down. Who drugged Wally Wald? Who drugged Wald? I don't know what that means. Okay. Wally going to make a laugh about you in 10 minutes. Nicole, let her chat attack me. Clickbait. <laughs> I didn't say it. Creance no said it now. I just read it. Chopper, he's still here. He didn't block no one on my behalf. So who really hates me? Uh, Chopper, we love you, Chopper. Chopper, don't nobody not love you. We love you. Wally, please let Armand go. <laughs> that was how you're thinking. How you're thinking said, let Armand go. Yeah, cause Armand doing his, he doing it big. Yep. He said, um, y'all heard that tea that went down on my show, y'all, about Armand. Did y'all hear that tea that Noxzema Jackson brought? Because I had, I don't, I don't watch Armand's show that much. And he said that Armand, I guess he had this, promoter or manager or i don't know what this woman was but she hired uh aman and she wanted she they went to new york and they got they wanted a lot of his subscribers to come meet him in new york and when they got when he got to new york he got the hotel room they didn't even know who aman was they didn't know who rented the room for aman they didn't know anything when they got there it was only two people Came out to support Armand Wiggins in New York. Did y'all hear that one? This is a um a blueberry smoothie. Did y'all hear that about Armand? Now they said Armand broke his own teeth. So this is new to me. Well, it's it's old now because it broke on my show a week or two ago. 
Oh, yeah. Y'all now, y'all being too disrespectful to Allie and um, Wiley. Can I help his eyes? Just like I got to get my teeth fixed. So y'all calm down on disrespecting Wiley. Facts about Armand Wiggins. Somebody, oh, that was facts. Oh, okay. Y'all don't have to keep talking about Wiley's eye. Good Lord. But shit happened. He's growing. It's a part of growth. Yes, yeah, a part of growth. Tell Wiley to go home before ZT turn the street lights on. <laughs> oh, y'all, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, mine is not big enough to be flown anywhere. <laughs> um, Wiley hanging in there. Wiley said y'all ain't going to chase him out the chat. He loved his, his appearance, and that's the end of it. I like my appearance. That's the end of it. Y'all crazy. Y'all are reading and dragging for filth. Good Lord. Now, I did not know it would be this way. Everyone lies in the sector. Get over it. Support who you want. Jasmine, I agree. Jasmine, agree. Finley say everybody lies. Get over it. I rocks with you, Wiley. So, Wiley got a supporter. I'm a snake. Somebody said they a snake. Is that Chopper? Chopper said he's a snake. Oh, he said he's asking a question. Of course he's still here. Content for later. Okay. Well, Lord Wiley. Well, I don't know what you're going to say about me, but oh well. Nicole, welcome back, sis. Second to none. All right, well, I, well thank you. <laughs> Wiley is unbothered, even though he doesn't have to speak to those who don't donate. Lord have mercy. Woo! It's going down in the chat. Oh, Lord. How long are we going to be on here, Lord? Let me see what time it is. Oh, okay. We're going to give it to like 610. 610, y'all. It's, it's 551. 551. So we're going to go at 610 before the sun go down so I can go and um see what's going on with my daughter. Miss Nicole, it's good to see you. Have a good time. Thank you. I think it's some real content deep down and Chopper Lyrics Reloaded. But but he's going to step out the shadows and just do it. All right. All right, the boom boom. Wally got handled by the little muscular dude who had Wally rolling. Lord, I'm trying to. In the grass with his legs up in the air. Who is that? Dang. Y'all know all the tea. We're going to have to do this part too. We're VS run youtube via prison cell what in the world all right how you thinking how you thinking says you gonna can you do youtube from prison all right <laughs> yeah that's a good while they won't let them disrespect him his chat they want to make fun of his oh lord well we we gonna end it there we gonna stop the, the uh Talk about Wiley's appearance now. Can someone explain Nepotarian? Nepotarian, he must be busy because he would have came by now. What y'all talking about? <laughs> Nobody's going to jail over this. I wish y'all stopped saying that nonsense. Willie said, ain't no damn body going to jail. Nicole, your chat is always popping. <laughs> it, it don't be me. Wiley is a good sport. Juicy fruit. Wiley, Juicy Fruit said you a good sport to still be here, Wiley. Okay. Somebody said F Wiley. They don't care. You ain't no good sport to them. <laughs> I think how you're thinking it is pretty lips. Ooh, is that is that some tea? How you thinking and pretty lips? Are y'all the same people? Okay. Somebody said, watch him, Nicole. Okay. My the chat warning me. These people can be so ignorant. I don't know what I'm going to do with y'all. Y'all y'all are entertaining me. I wanted y'all to ask me some questions to ask Sean Bradley. And y'all turned it into a roasting gags, reads, and drags. All right. We gonna, I'm going to have to market that. <laughs> Look, y'all. Roasting gags, reads, and drags. Somebody going to have that on their thumbnail and title tomorrow, y'all. But y'all know who said it first. I don't ever get no credit. <laughs> but look, roasting gangs, reads, and drags. All right. Let me say it for the fifth time. Wally got good moderators. That's why he blocks their disrespectful butts, I think they said. Why didn't he contact you to ask you if you were in that live, Nicole? That's a good question. Let me write that one down. 
Why didn't he ask? Why didn't he contact me? Everybody wanted me. Um, Wally asked me, did I contact him? Why he didn't contact me? That's right. Why you ain't contact me, Sean Bradley? Why you didn't contact me? Ask Sean why he played puppet master and ride the fence, then run when he don't want the heat on him. Woo! You heard that, Sean? Somebody said you played him puppet master and you ride the fence. Now, I've never known Sean to do that. I don't know him very well. But I haven't seen any uh, videos where he where he ride. I mean, where he runs away. I ain't seen that one now. Because nobody thinks you need to go on Sean's platform. He needs you to. You need you. Don't. Don't. You don't need Sean. Okay. Well, guess what, um, Ronnie Q? It's not like that for, for me. And I honestly... And sincerely don't don't think that it's like that for Sean. I think that we both want to heal our own spirits. That's what I think. Maybe I'm being, you know, uh, I just think that he wants to, to change it and change it. He wants to, you know, he feel bad. Maybe he feel bad. I feel bad too. Seven stars, you called the mess early. Seven stars called it early. That's what Creonce said. Him saying his war was over was him distancing himself from fire, babe. Oh, that's some tea right there. Is Sean Bradley distancing himself from fire, babe, y'all? Let me know. Woo! They said she in the chat. Is Seven in the chat? Why I don't see you, Seven? Seven, you in the chat. I don't even see you, but that's all right. But hey, Seven, I love you. I dedicated a song to you. I don't even know if you listen to the song, but it's a good song. There you go. Hey, Seven. I see you, boo. Girl Cave Live is in here. <laughs> Look, Seven, are you listening to this chat? The chat is on fire. You listening to the chat? Uh-oh, we got a call. Oh, Lord. I'm scared to see what's going on. Nicole Tyler, speak your peace. Oh, hi, how are you? Hey, cut your phone down or your your a device in the back. Okay, let me let me cut my. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, I could hear you, but I can hear the feedback. But yes, ma'am, how are you? Speak your piece. I, I'm doing fine, Mr. Cole. This is Larue, and uh, I just wanted to tell Tree that to please. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Miss Larue. This is Miss Larue, y'all. Larue is on the phone, and she trying. She's worried about where I'm giving my super chats to. I have given super chats to Sean Bradley. I have given super chats to you, Miss Nicole. I have given super chats to VS. I will give my money to who, whomever I want to. I'm not a YouTuber, and I don't care about uh, making the truth with that thing, whatever it is. Whatever, that casket short makeup on she have on. Go not get it. Keep the name out of her damn mouth. Thank you, Miss Nicole. You Love are you welcome. You speak your peace and clear your heart and clear your spirit. All right, girl. Okay. Well, that was Miss LaRue. And she said, Tracy, you gonna have she give her super chats whoever she wanna give her damn super chats to. So she said she spoke her peace. All right, y'all. What's going down in the chat? What's going on? I done missed some stuff. Yeah, Creon say I done missed it. See it true, heard it. Blah, blah. Somebody said, who's this woman? Woo, child. Have mercy, Lord God. <laughs> oh, that was seven. <laughs> Woo, Lord, have mercy. I like that. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got another one. Super chat takes 30%. Yeah, y'all. Y'all send to the PayPal. PayPal.me. Slash Nicole Passion 2020. I ain't been getting no super chat since I've been up here either, y'all. What's up with that? This Nicole speaking peace. I want you hoes to leave me in the middle. What's up? Alright, who is this playing on the phone? This ain't nobody playing on the phone. Just laughing. Uh, who is it? Who are you? I always, I don't, Chopper, Chopper 
is a mess, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do with y'all, bro. <laughs> I'm not getting a chance, you know what I'm saying? Let me get a dress, though. Don't say something about being evicted. How can you get evicted? Can you, can you tell me? How can you get evicted when you don't pay rent? Well, that's true. If you don't pay rent, how can you get evicted? Well, this way, no, 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 no. You can't. You can get evicted if you don't pay rent. I was gonna do get me evicted, and he laughed. He laughed. I dare you. I dare you to come in. You don't get in because it's locked. The gate is locked. You, but Chopper, you can't get evicted if you don't pay rent. You can get evicted if you um if you sell drugs on a property. You can do a you can. I'm not required to pay rent where I live. So how can you how can you get evicted of something? I, I'm not doing anything on the premises to make myself get evicted. Oh, okay. I'm, yeah, now I know ways to get evicted. If you ain't paying no rent now, I, you can get evicted from anywhere. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Yeah, you can get evicted, but not on account of being on no YouTube talking, giving my opinion about three, three little pigs. <laughs> oh, okay. I wouldn't get evicted for that. <laughs> Lord, help us. Help us, help us. What are we going to do with Chopper? I guess, they, I guess they see me as a wolf. <laughs> Lord, Chopper. Lord, y'all. We Chopper. I don't care. I don't really care. Tell Kwani to bring her ass over here. I don't care. Bring her ass over here. But I know she can't bring herself over here. Because she's the customer service host. That's what she is. She don't work on the plane, and they only transport criminals where she, where she works at. So she is not getting no frequent flyer miles. That's a lie. <laughs> well, Kwani, this is to you from Chopper. He said, pull up, Kwani. Pull up. I want you to pull up. He said, pull up, Kwani. Now, you heard it on the Nicole Tyler yes, show. Pull up. up. Yes, I talked to my family, and no, I didn't. Out of Chicago. I left. He left on Chicago. He day. did not get Some taken way. from his family. California, he left. And I have been here five years and very successful. Kwani. Okay, Kwani. So keep talking your shit. That's what I feel about. Well, Kwani, call in, Kwani. Or, or, or come on in the chat, Kwani. And if that, and if you ain't in the sky, just come on down. You can come on down in the, in my chat now. My chat is neutral. We we you can, my chat ain't all we look here. We keep it real over here. Today is roasting gas, reason drags. Because <laughs> I thought it was we talking about Sean Brad. But we just started with the roasting gas, reason drags. <laughs> Quanti beefing with the crew. Damn. You you didn't know that. Um, now, Seven, you need to stop Seven. Okay, Shopper, thank you. Seven, you knew. You know Kwani has been beefing with everybody. <laughs> Kwani. Woo, Kwani. Kwani, Kwani, Kwani. Kwani is a special bird. Not, she don't look like a bird. She just a special bird. They say I'm a special bird, but she's one too. Chopper roommate does not want him there. He was sexing in exchange for rent. The guy got a boyfriend. Chopper is unruly. Lord Chopper, did you hear that? That's what how you thinking said. Oh my God. Y'all know everybody business on these damn YouTube streets. Quanted to stop running away from her cage. Oh Lord. What the hell y'all talking about Quanted? Y'all said Quanted living in a cage. Quanted is their version of VS. Oh, okay. All right. Woo! This this chat is on fire. My name is Bennett and I ain't in it. All right, that's how it's supposed to be. You said you. Mm -hmm. Quanti's head looks underdeveloped. All right, Willie. Willie, I thought that you were supposed to be neutral too and and giving me advice and being my um publicist. What the hell happened? <laughs> Will Quanti be his star witness? Somebody that's a CDOC or whatever. I got to get that right. He said, well, Kwani be the star witness. Therefore, the eviction process must take place. Okay. Well, Chopper, you have to talk about that on your channel because I don't know what's going on with your living arrangement. It's not really my business. Kwani called Fire Babe long titted. Really? What? what? I thought Kwani and Fire Babe were friends. Are y'all serious now? Why won't the roommate change his locks? That's a good idea. That's a good question. The boom boom. That's a good question. 
Kwani old behind. She bent over. Lord, Ronnie Q. Nicole Tyler. Sean Bradley is using you for information that he is going to discard you. And you're friends with, now you're friends with Fire Babe. I'm not friends with anybody. <laughs> y'all. Didn't we already have the conversation of YouTube friends and friends? And y'all don't know the difference now. Please, we're not going back over it. Miss Nicole, did you write my question down for Sean? I think I did. I only wrote down one, two, three. I think I only wrote down four questions. I didn't write down no name. Which was your question? Because so many people, had, four people asked questions. Changing locks on him is illegal eviction. I agree with you, Seven. That was Wiley Show. It's illegal to change the locks. You have to get a court order. Yeah, you can you can get locked up for that. Waving, waving to my fans. Okay. Ronnie Q said she waving at her fans, y'all. You okay, Ronnie Q got fans in the chat. <laughs> okay, share with you. Watch Five Baby's latest video from this morning. Well, I thought Fire Babe and uh, Kwani were friends. Y'all telling me this, T. I ain't know all this stuff. Kwani called out Teresa's lack of edges. What? And Fire Babe's droopy boobs while she was drunk. Child, Lord, let me take a sip of my drink, y'all. Woo! This ain't Kwani. Well, you don't play. Look here now. If me and you supposed to be YouTube cool, I ain't gonna have you talking about my boobs and me being drunk. That ain't no plan. But if that's how they play, all right. I don't play like that. If we YouTube cool, you ain't coming for me. I'm sorry. That mean that we ain't YouTube cool. <laughs> Nicole Reloaded. Thank you, love. Hey, Nicole Reloaded. I gotta... Nicole, you know I haven't watched your video because I've been on live. But I'm gonna watch it. Sean Bradley and all his subscribers did everything they could do to try to destroy you. Yes, they did. Wow. Now you want to be validated by him. No, I don't. You know Sean Bradley hates black women. All right. Witchcraft. Witchcraft is my religion, said that. Which is not true. <laughs> but I, you're free to your opinion. Nicole, she was playing. You got to watch her video. Okay. Ain't nobody going to be talking about, okay, hey, I don't know. I'm listening and reading the chat. On site ain't messing with Kwani. All right. Lord. Well, I'm just glad to eat my popcorn. Ain't y'all tired of them talking about me? Y'all, I know y'all, y'all got, over, they overdosed y'all with all my compliment, my, my compliments. It's now it's time to talk about, talk about other people. Thank goodness. Woo. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say about Seven. That girl is entertaining to me. Kriyanse says Seven is entertaining to her. <laughs> I said we're going to leave at 6.15. It's 6.07. We got eight minutes. Oh, my God. We got eight minutes. Anybody want to call in? Oop. Mess up my phone. Sean Bradley put himself... Sean Bradley put himself in a trick bag. Now he's trying to pull himself out. That's what Ronnie Q... Ronnie Q, break that down, Chad, because I don't know what you're talking about. Ronnie Q, what is this trick bag? Seven ain't pressed about Sean giving her props. All right. Got what Teresa said. Woo. We got a lot of seven lovers in the house. We got a lot of seven stars lovers on this channel. Including Wally. He loves seven too. Kwani has been discarded. Once Sean went on to say Kwani is a YouTuber and a content creator, he distanced himself from Kwani and she's now the fallout. Now she's the fall girl. Okay. Now, if you all are out there listening, other YouTube content creators, Roasting gags, reads, and drags has been going on on this on this channel for the last hour. These comments that everybody is saying on my channel is regarding all the YouTube content creators, and this is how they feel about y'all. So, the, these are the viewers. This is how they feel. 
So we it's good to see how what's out there and how our viewers view us. So I like it. I like it. We get to see how y'all what y'all see. The looks this looks like junior high school. Are you guys setting for your youth? Sad. Somebody is taking this. Okay. The black man is turning all black females against each other. This is Cindy Belazar. Belazar. Let me go make another shirt. All right, the boom, boom, boom. Because I put that out there on Olivia the Oracle's channel. That the boom, boom, boom channel was the first one to make the Gator Croc shirt. It was not Miss Nicole Tyler. Sean Bradley is the bomb.com. That's Nicole Reloaded. We got a Sean Lover in the house. We got a whole lot of Sean Lovers in the house. Yes, he is Nicole Reloaded. And I love Sean. That was Natalia Taylor. I love Sean Bradley. He is the bomb.com. All right. Cindy, go back to Africa. What the hell kind of compliment comment is that? What the hell? Tasha Queen. Cindy, go back to Africa. <laughs> All right, I don't, I'm lost on that one. Sean, everybody, chat, I ain't even go there. Sean Bradley is having a field day watching all you black female YouTubers fight amongst each other. I don't believe that witchcraft, but you believe it. That's your comment, and can't nobody take it away from you. Natalia Taylor says she's the number one stand of Sean Bradley. All right, Natalia Taylor. I'm here. I'm from Haiti, love. Cindy says she is from Haiti. All right, y'all better get it together because she ain't from no damn Africa. Lord, get it together. I love Nicole Tyler. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you, beautiful. Excuse you. Excuse you where you been. I ain't seen you this whole life. That sounds like something Tracy Aquani would say. They're anti-black. Well, we ain't for that now, but this ain't what this live is about. Nicole, shout out. Fire babe, Nicole shout fire babe out. All right, if that's what okay. I love everyone. Yes, Belazare is a Haitian name. All right, I learned something too. I didn't know that was a Haitian name. If Sweet Ma is here, thank you for apologizing to Tasha K. Somebody said thank you for thank thank you for apologizing to Tasha K. Excuse you said that. All right, Sweet Ma, I didn't know you apologized, but that's bigger you. There are a handful of favorite men and women on YouTube I love, and some of them don't even like each other. Well, it's only YouTube now. This is YouTube stuff. Don't get it twisted. Off of YouTube, we probably are best friends. That's VS feeling about Sean. She really is homophobic, but likes women too. That's really weird. Um, That was Peach McCoy. He said that's very weird. Okay. All right, witchcraft. He took his... You know I'm reading comments, so... Oh, Melissa took that comment out. Okay, but don't block Melissa. Don't block them. Nicole, this live was great. I'll super chat you as soon as I get paid. Thank you, Creon Sanker. Nobody super chatted me. Y'all ain't even give me $2. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> y'all ought to be ashamed of y'all saying. <laughs> y'all ain't super chat or nothing. I am sure many of you are friends. Yeah, off, line, off of YouTube, y'all will be cool. But on YouTube, we do YouTube videos, so, and we're each other's content for now. So, y'all got to forgive us. Just watch the show. Sean started doing the same things he accused VS of doing to him and started to discuss people. Now, he is trying to win back his shrinking audience. Whoa, Ronnie Q. Boy, Ronnie Q is pissed off, man. She, Sean and Ronnie Q. I think y'all might need to have a, a powwow and makeup. Because, man, Ronnie Q, you need to go find Sean. VS Messy and Boring. That was Queen B. Queen B, thank you, YouTube hangman. He sent me $1.99 in the sky. All right. All right. We got somebody that, that donated to Miss Nicole Tyler. Even though they're going to take 30% of that and give me what, 70 cents, give me what? Sean Bradley audience is actually growing, somebody said. Nice live, Nicole. Thank you. Nicole Tyler, you and VS were a powerful team. Witchcraft said we were powerful. Sean Bradley audience isn't lacking. He is actually growing. Nicole Reloaded said his Sean Bradley's uh, channel is growing. Ronnie Q cracks me up. That was seven stars in the sky. She said he's, he's cracking up. <laughs> 
I'm the commentator, y'all. <laughs> Oh my God, I had a good time with y'all. My daughter probably like, what in the hell? <laughs> I'm not pissed at all. You asked me a question, Nicole. <sighs> Ronnie Q, I enjoyed you. I enjoyed everybody. Exactly, Sean has almost 500 on Patreon. Now, that's a big feat right there, y'all. 500 paid members is good. LaRue Carruthers, Carruthers came through. She said, I super chat who I want to. Thank you, super chat from LaRue. She said, this is how I do it, Tree Tree. All right, Tree He. That's how she do it, LaRue Carruthers. Sean's Patreon is almost 500. Yes, that's big, too. VS trying to turn this into a black women thing, but we all see through that. Natural said, we see through that, VS. We see through it. We see through it. All right. Y'all, it is now 6.15, 6.15. He ain't been on Patreon long. So y'all, I'm going to go. But um, thank y'all. We had a great time. I'm going to go see my daughter. Y'all know I'm going to see whoever coming to see me in D.C. who lives in the D.C. area or the Baltimore area. I will be in Northwest. Y'all have to look up the, the directions. The address to Hot and Juicy and Crawfish, Crawfish Restaurant is in Northwest. So y'all, that's where I'll be um, after the interview with Sean. It'll be in, in the afternoon. Yeah, the afternoon. So I'll see y'all then. My name is Nicole Tyler. Thank y'all. Wally, Seven Stars, Ronnie Q, Natural, Creance, Chopper, Real Talk, Gigi, Natural, CDOC, Melissa, so Second to None, all of you all. Whoever I miss, Higher Learning, Willie, Tasha, Kingdom, everybody. I thank y'all. I missed a whole lot of other names. Nicole Reloaded. Y'all go subscribe to all these people's channels. Support YouTubers like myself. Thank y'all. I love y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.